to our weekly performance review video series where I go over the most recent episodes over the last week, look at the episodes, look at the analytics, try to make sense of what's going on and tell you guys if we're dropping or not. Um, these are a little bit too early, all right? I think the episode, it should be a weekly thing, so I feel like the cutoff should be Monday, but let's just check out the most recent drama video just to show you, like... It's always so funny how drama videos just... <laughs> all I do is just start shitting on monkeys. And people start subbing. People watch it. People love the drama video. The expected range in this beer is 490 at the higher end. Our, every drama video is like this. Because like people just want drama. They want some spicy shit. And it's always, you know, drama videos are just, you know... It, it's like shitty reality TV. You just can't get enough of it, right? So there it is for the drama video. I'm sure next, you know, next week it's going to be even fucking better. Of these episodes, I actually kind of do want to talk about um, ReZero video over here. And the reason I want to talk about the ReZero video is because it's kind of interesting how we haven't even started ReZero yet, but you see how I'm kind of like priming you guys. Like a long time ago, of course, we had the ReZero trailer reactions where I asked you guys, should we watch ReZero or not? Of course we're going to watch ReZero. I'm just trolling, right? We also did a little bit of the community post of the waifu, you know, bait tier list. And yeah, I think the interest is pretty high. This is called like... I'm just like testing. Just putting my toe in the water. Do my audience actually give a shit about ReZero? If by all means, like... Because we are a trash isekai channel, and ReZero is like the isekai of all isekais, I think that like we can have full confidence that it will do well as we marathon all of Season 1 and 2 throughout the next two months. Other than that, let's look at... Let's see. I think we can start from maybe even just like this Tower of God or Maki and Hero. Sure, fuck it, why not? Let's look at the um, Too Many Losing Heroines. It's actually so impressive how Too Many Losing Heroines consistently does so well. Like, if there are shows that I'm confident that the viewership will be high this season, of course, Roche today will be number one. And it was with Storia for a bit, but now... Losing heroines for three episodes in a row has just been so fucking good, right? Look at the upper range. It should be around 1.9k in the expected range, but we're doing so much better than that because, you know, people actually care about this show, and it's an actually good show as well. Uh, it's a typical, you know, what's going on because people are obviously clicking and watching it more. Everything is from, of course, the YouTube recommendation system. Again, what you see in the homepage versus what you see in a video and up next in the sidebar. Little to none in the YouTube search engine because you don't need to rely on the search engine if you want to make content on YouTube. And the engagement bar, I thought this would actually spike near the end. This is actually pretty good. This is a very stable engagement where most of the people are watching throughout the whole video. There's not like a specific section that really spikes. I thought the ending, Komari, you know, confession scene would spike, but pretty consistent. Let's look at the audience. The audience, not enough data to show. I always love to show the returning versus new viewers to see, are we getting into like a new group of people? Or are we just still working with the existing audience that the YouTube algorithm has given to us? What a surprise that a show like this would have 100% male. Do we have the RPM for this ready? 1.68 RPM is pretty sad, not gonna lie. This is actually such a shitty RPM. Like compared to other YouTubers in different niches, man, their RPMs are like... Even an RPM of like 3 is bad for them. They're getting like over 5, but hey, we're in the anime reaction space. There's little to what I can do with the RPMs. It is what it is. Next up, after losing heroines, what should we check out? Tower of God was pretty good. Um, Tower of God... Sorry, one second. It's definitely performing above average, and I'm happy that it's performing average. It's just, I wish that it could hit the Roche today numbers, but I have just too much high expectations. Most of the viewership, of course, is from the browse features, their YouTube recommendation systems, right? Is there a scene that spiked? Yes. I'm gonna assume that this is the Horyang scene, right? No. It's Yun, Parasite scene. No, they were all Horyang scenes. That was when Horyang was about to pop up. Horyang almost used the Devil's Right Arm before, too, before Bum stuff. But it's always fun to see the engagement bar and see, like, where is the highest retention. If we look at the reach, obviously, you know, what we're kind of trying to find here is... Are people throwing it, finding through the recommendations? Yes, they are. Let's look at... 10 minute, 53 second, you know, average duration is not bad. Not bad. If you look at a typical period versus what we got, it's pretty high. If you look at the audience, not enough data to show just yet. 1.1% females though. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. Next up. So it's funny how like 
Any video I make on Roche today, you guys will click it. Like, I know that you guys know that I'm farming the shit out of Roche today, but like, <laughs> I was low key thinking, should we just start watching the dub reactions too? Why not? I bet you would eat it up. I bet you would eat up the English dub reaction, full episode reactions. Right now, we're just looking at certain specific clips of the English stuff for voice actors like Yuki and stuff like that, right? Everyone wants to see what's, you know, the viral moments of uh, Good Morning Oni-chan would look like. But yeah, it was fucking dumb and cringe, but hey, not bad. And 0.77 RPM per 1,000 views. Why is that the case? Because obviously, it's a short video and the watch time is extremely low, right? Look at the typical here. Sorry, you guys can't see it right now. Look at the typical here. Typical is anywhere from 5 to 8 minute 44 seconds average duration for a video this length, I guess. But it will only got 235 because obviously people just wanted to see, you know, just that one part. Nothing wrong with that, though. The... <sighs> so, about SAO cut content, I thought you guys would enjoy this way more. But I'm realizing that cut content was actually a mistake to start on. First episode of cut content might have been pretty decent. But like, yeah, 1.3k views, but it, the true viewership is here. People don't care at all for the cut content. And let me show you. Look at the performance of these SAO cut content elicitation, man. It's so sad. It's so fucking sad. This is an immediate drop. I guess even if there's like a lot of people wanting SAO content, the cut content is a little bit too hardcore and niche and People just aren't watching it. So I'm probably gonna drop this. It's sad. I, I thought that we had a new channel that we could farm out and watch a lot of SAO content, but... You know, you guys vote with your viewership. The Nokotan mid video, I thought would do a little bit better. This is the one where I was kind of like, you know, rage baiting. Trying to see if people get mad, but a lot of people are actually saying shit like, Yup. Dropped it episode 2 personally. Kinda dropped it. Yeah, a lot of people are coming out of the woodsheds and realizing that Nokotan is, you know, a little bit overhyped and overrated. It's it's literally suffering from success due to the viral marketing campaign, but it's still fun that I can just, you know, read out fucking comments. Like, this is a pure video where, like, I'm trying to have some, like, original comments where instead of me reacting to someone, like, you know, read out uh, their script or whatever, what about it's just me reading something? And they actually do pretty decent. Now, let's check out the... Ichikamich Yamada Dad episode. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I hope that ReZero will perform just as well of Dangers in My Heart, if not better. I hope that it'll perform better. I feel like there's more Isekai endures than, you know, Romcom endures. But Dangers in My Heart has been performing perfectly as a community series, extremely consistent. There's not been a single video that fell off. Remember the video series I made for Last Crusade on, like, people just did not give a fuck? That's not the case with this. There's some community series where people are down to watch every single episode because it's just that good. Charlotte was another one of those series. If we look, is there a specific part that pops? Look how, like, higher the engagement is on these community series compared to the other weekly seasonals, right? Because when it's a community series, more people are obviously going to watch it for a longer time because what's the video made for? It's for my audience. Because they're familiar with my content, they're more likely to give me a chance to watch the whole video rather than tourists coming in and watching, you know, just certain sections of it. So the engagement of any community series is always going to be so high. If we look at the audience, but yeah, little to no new viewers coming in, right? And this is not a problem. Again, the point of these community series is to target the returning viewers to create a reason for people to come back after they've initially found my channel through some of the trends like Roshtere, Tower of God with story of these seasonal animes, right? The whole point of these community series is to consolidate in a totally separate audience. So this is serving its job. The RPM? Not bad at all. 276, I'm very hard happy with that. Anything over $2 per 1,000 views, I'm pretty happy with. And this is only possible because people watch it for a long time, right? Look at this shit. The watch time is so fucking high here compared to the other videos because community series. There's more of a concentrated audience that's willing to watch the entire fucking video. Let's change the soundtrack. I don't like this part of the Perion one. All right, this is a good one. Next video. So I was a bit worried about Nobody Remembers Me because I thought it was just going to be another mid-fantasy series. But it's doing honestly pretty decent. Definitely well enough to keep on. This episode was very hype. And I think that the viewership kind of reflects that, right? It's not 
as high as does the other enemies. In fact, people don't really give a fuck about the setup. They just wanted to see Vanessa's titties for just a bit, right? The engagement is pretty low. But regardless, people are still watching it. Let's look at the audience. Is there any new people coming in? No, it's just my, you know, returning audience. And you're going to ask my ask me, well, what is the difference between Dangerous and My Heart and this? Isn't Dangerous also have, you know, low returning, uh, sorry, high returning viewers, but no new viewers? This is, well, there's, even if people are returning, doesn't necessarily mean that they're my community. Returning simply means that they see my content once and they're coming back to see it again. Community polls series are legit, like, you know, marketed towards those people that voted. These returning viewers are probably still kind of in the realm of tourists where they kind of check out my videos from time to time. This soundtrack sucks. Go to the next one. This soundtrack sucks. Where's my chill soundtracks, man? Come on. All right, fuck it. The Sylvanas videos, they do pretty decent, man. We're trying to do, it's not the best, but like it definitely meets expectations. And for something as simple as like, what? How long does it take to record this? This is like, what? Five minute video, maybe less than that. It's perfectly fine. I'm definitely going to keep doing Sylvanas reactions. It's a nice little skit, a daily skit reaction that we can do. So nice that uh, we can incorporate that. And this is the biggest bait right over here. Arisization, cut content, episode one. I mean, even episode one cut content, you can see, look at that. People don't actually care about it, right? People don't actually care about it. So it sucks, but I don't think it's a smart idea to invest into a series that people just don't give a fuck about. Next up, Elusive Samurai. I think we're going to drop it. I said, if there's back to back, like I'm not looking for average. I'm looking for exceptional. If there's consecutive episodes where it's pretty bad, then it's in the realm to drop it. Do you guys honestly want to watch Elusive Samurai or would you rather have another episode of ReZero or Sword Art Online? Genuinely, tell me right now. One in chat for Elusive, two for something else. Do you actually care about this shit? I don't think you guys actually care about this. And the number kind of like shows that, right? Let's be honest. There's no need to fucking lie and try to have show some pity. It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to give you what you want and my audience has seen, shown me that Elusive Samurai, they just don't really care about it compared to the other shows. Doesn't mean Elusive Samurai is bad. It just means that for my community, it's just it's not one of those sought out episodes. Maybe we'll still check out next episode because next episode should be kind of like a hype climax, right? But just it's just so low. Engagement is so fucking low. Look at that. It's below the expected gray area, right? It's just... It's, it's barely meeting expectations, but again, Weekly series is not supposed to barely meet expectations. Weekly series is supposed to be exceptional while we try to attract a new audience in and then consolidate those through community series. This is another series, right? Elusive Samurai could be another community-based series. So maybe we'll check out one more episode. Maybe. We'll see. We already know how well Dangerous My Heart does. Um, Again, more Roshitori content, right? So... <laughs> Chibi's farming the shit out of Roche today. So am I, of course, right? And yes, people love this shit. Anytime it's a Roche today topic, the views just go up. Why? Because it's Roche today. Because it's trending. Because everyone's talking about this shit, right? I bet the engagement's pretty low. Oh, it's actually pretty high in certain moments where I guess, you know, Oni-chan, you know, is getting voiced. But yeah, these are obviously, you know, just shameless farms but it does a good job in introducing new people relative to the other videos look at the amount of new viewers coming in to the uh, returning viewers right so it's still worth doing it for sure for sure it's just easy views any any literally anything possible with roast today i'll figure out a way to fucking you know i'll figure out a way to uh, farm it and this one too so this is what alia sounds in english dub literally just fucking watching another dumbass video where i just listen to an english dub and it just does so well. Why? Seven subs off of this shit? Like, really? Like, why? It's so stupid. It's such lazy, low effort content. And here's the best part. The harsh reality that no one wants to hear. Entertainment is subjective. And it does not scale proportionally to the amount of effort that you put in. Lazy content is just as entertaining as high effort content. It's all subjective at the end of the day. And people love Roche Today content. They want to see the difference, you know, voice actors. It's just an interesting topic. So, you know, that's why it gets the views. SAO. I'm surprised that this SAO video actually did pretty well, bro. 
Because I expected that moment we went out of the simulation and outside into the real world and we were doing a little bit of snooping around to see what's going on outside with Wrath, that the viewers would fall down, but no. People are very excited about the shit that happens outside, which actually genuinely is very surprising. Nice viewership here. If we look at the way that people found the video, obviously via browse features, no one's searching up YouTube, you know. Sort of online reactions at the moment. The average watch duration is decent. And if you look at the audience, yeah, there's no, you know, returning viewers. Sorry, new viewers. Again, perfectly fine. What is the point of a community series? To consolidate into those returning viewers that's found my channel through those trends, right? So SAO and danger is in my heart. It's so nice. One of the worst things... One second. One of the worst things um, that can happen is when your community series starts performing bad. And why could that be the case? Well, Last Crusade, I brute forced it. It didn't win a poll. I simply put it in there to experiment. And the inch and in the initially it was kind of interesting, but then people start to not give a fuck, right? But finally, we have Dangerous and SA, which are both, you know, meeting expectations as community series would. Next video, Tensura. Tensura's back, baby. And oh, oh, we got the fucking Mori show going on, man. Who is the daddy? Hakuro is the daddy. Views are up 55%, yup, because people love Tensor in my channel, right? We are a shitty isekai channel and people love this shit. Most of the viewership, YouTube recommendations. Literally nothing from YouTube search engine. If there is some, it's insignificant. Is there a section that popped off really hard? Not really, but you can see based off the engagement bar that people actually care more about Tensura compared to the other content. That's why the engagement bar, the line graph here, is higher than the gray area, which is the expected amount of engagement. Let's look at the audience, and... Well, there's no new people coming in. It's fine. It's fine. As long as we're working with the returning viewers, that's all we care about. Next up, more dangers. No Let's talk about Nokutan. So again, Nokutan is obviously falling off in viewership compared to the other videos where they hit for nearly 10k, but it doesn't mean it's bad. It's still an enjoyable show, and it's still performing above expectations. It's just that compared to the initial hype, right? It is a bit, it's more than a bit. It definitely fell off, but it's totally fine. A lot of new viewers actually showing up too, because obviously a lot of people are trying to look at Nokutan content while it's trending. Hopefully with the addition of the new roster of characters and now that they're done, we need, you know, introducing the characters, we can get back to the crazy shenanigans that we were doing back in episode one and two. Um, these videos, eh, it's just a trailer and Otaku Spirit video that I just checked out because it's Roshtori content. Failure frame. So, let's look at Failure Frame. If we look at Failure Frame... It's doing alright! It's still holding on. I'm glad it's holding on. There's a lot of fucking shitty CGI going on, but hey, it's still entertaining. No views through YouTube search engine as usual. If we look at the engagement on the lower end for sure. Lower end. Let's look at the audience tab. Yep. Not much new people coming in, but as expected, it's performing as a community series should, sorry, a weekly series should do, right? It's definitely above average, and this is perfectly fine. All right. What is the next one? More Sylvanas? <laughs> Sylvanas videos actually do so well. Okay, Days of My Stepsister is uh, about to get dropped. One more episode, and if it performs on the same level, I am dropping. I'm starting to realize that I knew from the beginning that Days of My Stepsister, obviously, people don't care because of, you know, people are literally unsubbing. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Look at the typical period versus, you know, that. But this is what I mean by baseline viewership, right? What is the true nature of a show? What is the true viewership of a show when it's not spicy and exciting? This is the true nature of people that watch Days of My Stepsister. They don't actually care about the drama. And the people that do, it's a small portion compared to the other people that were watching for something crazy to happen. If one more episode like this happens, I am dropping it. No one cares about this show. Some people do, but for the vast majority, they don't. And the analytics represent that. Yep. Sad, but hey, it is it is what it is. It's all part of the game, man. Sylvanas reaction is always as well. Tensura any news? I can always count on Tensura any news to do well, man. Tensura any news will always just be there for me. People just love Tensura in my channel, and obviously the engagement is good. Any news content is always fun to watch. 
Yeah, no new viewers, but it's totally fine. What was the revenue for this? It should be pretty... Yeah, $3, bro. Look at that. Three eleven per every 1,000 views. That's pretty fucking solid, man. And why is that the case? Because people watch the video for a long time. Longer duration. More ads they get served. Great content. I'm glad that any news has, you know, this tensor content we can always fall back to. Next one, I parry everything. I parry everything is doing all right. This is... I th This is definitely average, right? 2,000 right now is kind of like the floor. When I say floor, what do you think I'm saying? I'm talking about the floor of the viewership. There's a ceiling and there's a floor. And the ceiling is something that I cannot control. If Roche Daddy Episode 2 will just randomly hit for 30k, like beyond 30k, like 40k, I didn't really earn that, right? I didn't really earn that. That was simply just trends carrying Roche Daddy Episode 2. But what I can control is the floor. And how I find the floor is just simply looking at what is like the average viewership of, you know, just series like uh, across the board. And, and before... After a week, if it hit about 1,000 views, it was fine. But that was before the most recent Zenkai boost in the algorithm. Now, the newest floor is like roughly 2,000. And if it can get to 2,000 over a week, I'm perfectly happy continuing with it. Wasn't the most, you know... I think the entertaining part of this episode was just how dumb it was. And us just losing our fucking mind on how dumb it was. No new people coming in, but hey, that's perfectly fine. Uh, this is an L trailer because lack of marketing from a HSR and a character that's not up, you know, appealing as well. This Demon Slayer one, kind of sad. I thought that more people would be interested in, you know, Demon Slayer content. But obviously it's not trending and my audience is not battle shown and heavy. More Oceanoku farm, dangers we know, SAO we know. Let's look at Roshtere. Now, Roshtere, can you say that it fell off? Yeah, sure. You can say it fell off, but the point that it fell off to is still higher than anything fucking else right now. Obviously, if you're gonna have a video that hits for almost like 40k, like episode 2, right? Like, let's look at that right now, actually. If we look at my most popular videos, is episode 2 reaching 40k? It hit 40k! Holy shit! I mean, we still have another, like, two months of Roshtere content. And each week, this video is going to get pushed out more and more. It could honestly be rank 1 at this rate with this momentum. I'm not sure. It really depends. If another Roshtere video hits really high, like episode 1 and 2, like these videos will also get pushed out proportionately. And if... In, like, I think it's possible. We're only on like episode 4 or 5. Again, we have like 2 more months of Roshtere content. Every week, these are going to go more and more. Eminence and Shadow Finale might finally get dethroned from the number one viewer video. But again, this is something that I can't control, right? I did not earn this. I was simply at the right place at the right time by understanding trends and I put my content out there. And the market has decided that this video is going to get pushed out. And I'm very grateful for it. But in no way do I expect every video to hit 40k, no. The floor right now is not 40k. Fuck no, that's the ceiling. The floor is 2,000. In a week, if it can hit 2,000, I'm perfectly fine with that. Let's look at Roche today. Every video is just fucking crazy, right? Three times higher than usual. Why? Because people watch it for a longer time. Was there a specific engagement part where people were really excited on? Probably during the confession scenes, right? People probably wanted to look at the specific confession scenes, right? In my reaction to it and stuff like that. If we look at the audience tab, it's fine. I wanted a little bit more new viewers coming in due to the trends, but obviously most of these people coming in have already seen my Roche Today Episode 2 content, which got 40k views, so it's totally fine. But nice to always have, you know, Roche Today juice me up in analytics every Wednesday. It's like a little support kit. I know that I didn't earn this, and I know that this viewership is fraudulent, but I'm also going to obviously maximize on this and try to capitalize on this trend of Roche Today while it's fresh. But it's always good to, you know, maintain your expectations because, like, a lot of people right now, a lot of um, anime reaction channels that don't really understand the algorithm and the audience will simply look at their viewership or Roche today. And as soon as the season ends, I guarantee you, everyone's going to leave because they were not able to convert those tourists into community members. And they're going to think that the algorithm dropped them. But that's not the case. You, The algorithm didn't drop you. You simply dropped the audience that checked you out for Roche today. While the people have checked you out during that time, it's up to you 
to convert them into core community members and try to make them watch, you know, diverse variety content. But if you can't do that, then yes, that's how you fall off because you were just, they were never your fans to begin with. Next video. Uh, more video essays, more Sylvanas, more video essays. Oshinoko did pretty well, huh? Now, what I say, what I say that like, it's not a mid episode of Roche Today, but a Roche Today episode that kind of performs the worst versus an Oshinoko episode that still performs the best. Isn't that funny? This Roche Today video performed the worst of all the Roche Today videos. It has nearly two times the viewership as Oshinoko that performed the best of all the episodes. And it's just simply just trends, man. Oh, Roshitere is untouchable. It is genuinely untouchable. And this Oshinoko episode was fantastic. But despite, but even if it's fantastic, because the pool of people watching Oshinoku is simply smaller than the pool of people watching Roshitere, it is what it is. But still, a fantastic episode. The in peak engagements, yeah. This part is probably exactly where Akane, you know, and stuff. The whole murder mystery plot start to go back into the action, right? Yep, exactly. Hoshino and I are right over here. But look at the audience tab. Yep, the typical ones, man. Whenever I look at the audience tab, what I'm really looking for is if there's a spike in the new viewers. Because that tells me that, okay, this is a tourist trap and we can bring people in and try to convert them over. But Oshinoku did fantastic this week. <laughs> Literally me reading a fucking article about Roshinoku being an isekai. Bro, I am farming the shit. I am farming the shit out of fucking Roche today right now. It's crazy. Isekai Shikaku, which is actually today's video that we're going to watch later on tonight. Dude, Isekai Shikaku, while it might not get the same level of viewership as Roche today, it is still fantastic. Meeting ex over expectations right now. I'm glad that this series is being well received in my channel. Yeah, this part's probably the moment where obviously the, uh, what's it called? It's got to be the moment where, you know, Suicide Riz is happening. That part was so good when Sensei walked up to the Demon Lord girl and then just like confronted her and she started sweating buckets, bro. That scene was so fucking good. Audience tab? Yeah. Existing Isekai audience. Perfectly fine though. Love Isekai Shikaku. Is there anything else that's very uh, good? We already know about this. We know about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More Roche today. More Roche today. Oh, this is an actually interesting video. Of all the um, random other non-anime reactions I'm doing for extra YouTube content, this one actually did pretty well. But I think that people simply got baited by the thumbnail and the title of the whole topic of trans. And obviously that's a controversial topic to some people. And it kind of brings a lot of eyes in. No new viewers. So it's my existing audience. And the engagement's probably low. Yeah, engagement's obviously going to be low. Because like... They didn't actually watch the whole video. They simply saw the title and stuff. That's why the engagement bar is like this. Most of my non-anime reaction bars are kind of like this. It depends on the topic, but for stuff that people don't actually care about, it is usually just kind of like this. While the anime reactions obviously is a little bit more flat line all across the way. But it's fine. These are just extra curlicas we're checking around. Is there anything else? Oh, Tensera fell off. This is a good video to farm because obviously, quote unquote, controversial, right? People are mad. I expected more people to unsub. Yeah, people get fucking mad, bro. The best part is that these people are like, it's so funny when people on my Tensor reactions tells me I'm the most attentive. I'm the guy that actually knows what's going on in Tensor. They like give me this crown as like one of the best Tensor reactors. But as soon as I talk in a critical way about this show, they're quick to fucking leave me, bro. They never fucking deserve this shit. But the people that are reasonable actually know what I'm talking about regarding the actual pacing and the season three content. They just can't handle the truth. They see a little bit of opinion that makes them mad and they fucking shit their pants, bro. It's good though. I'm gonna continue farming their asses. Did we get new people coming in? Nah, it's just my existing audience members. It's fine though. It's fine. A lot of people actually take my opinions so seriously. And here's the thing, right? You gotta really wonder, like, why would you get mad at some random stranger's opinion about an anime? It's be and the only reason you get mad is if you actually hold that person who gave that opinion in, like, a positive light or you actually, like, respect them to a certain degree. So they watch my reactions and I'm, const I'm, co I'm constantly, like, affirming their beliefs and their opinions. Of me saying, like, wow, Tensor is great and these neckbeards are like, yes! 
anime reaction man told me that the anime I'm watching is good and suddenly I feel validated in life. Yes, anime reaction man, please tell me how to live my life. Keep telling me that I've been a good boy. And as soon as I say something that makes them mad, as in like, yeah, season three pacing is shit. They fucking lose their minds because of the image they had of me being like their fucking idol or god. And suddenly it just destroys the reality. Because think about it. The only reason you get actually that mad is because you actually held someone up to a higher standard. Because if you saw me as a monkey, and you should, just the way that I see you as a monkey, and suddenly there's no expectations. Whatever you say doesn't really fucking matter, because I have no expectations from you from the beginning. It's a fun little psychology thing, though. Is there anything else we want to check out? Um, that's... Other than that, yeah. That's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it for the week of, you know, Roncoms. Obviously, SAO and, you know, Dangers are still doing fucking fantastic. And we already talked about the other shows. And that's pretty much it. This is another week's worth of performance reviews. And the only show that's kind of dangling right now on the cutting block is Stays With My Stepsister and Elusive Samurai. It'll be interesting to see what's going to happen with the next episode. And if that's not, you know, if people are interested, if you guys are interested, I'll simply move on. See you next week.